hello my little cats and kittens out there and if you get that then COVID-19 has gotten to you too because you're clearly watching things that you normally wouldn't be watching on TV if you're like me. So glad you joined me today. My name is Kim and I am out here in my backyard with the birds and I wanted to share a quick workout with you guys. Um, I can't remember I did this one the other day. I think it's like a 30-ish minute workout. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I am just going to explain the workout and then I'm going to get you, I'm going to encourage you to get a workout buddy and do this outside. This is what I do every day. My buddy and I get together and we work out outside in my driveway and you could get your across the street neighbor and y'all could be in your own driveway. Um, I mean, friendship could be, you know, questioned after you ask them to come do something like this, but it'll be all right after everything's said and done, they'll come back to you. So, uh, what you're gonna need for today's workout, <clears throat> kettlebell, jump rope, and dumbbells. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell, you could take a milk jug and I would fill it with sand. Uh, definitely weigh it to see because sand's pretty dense and heavy. So, uh, but a kettlebell can be uh, replaced by a milk jug, gallon milk jug, or an almond milk jug. Um, so, so see if you can find one of those if you don't have a kettlebell. Uh, here is what you're going to do on your warm up. You are going to start with air squats. You're going to do ten of each of these. Now, Tammy and I usually run about a half a mile to a mile before we actually get into the warm-up just because we enjoy running. So, um, air squats, you start in the down position and push your hands back as you are coming up. It's kind of a muscle memory thing. You gotta really work on it before it becomes natural to you. Glute bridge after that, 10 of those. So basically just on the mat, lifting those hips and squeezing through the glutes. After that, you've got matrix, arms out to the side, lift that leg and take it over. Great stretch for the lower back, 10 of those. After that, grab your weights for tricep overhead extension, warming those triceps, and then air hugs. And do 10 of those and then go all the way back through and do that again. So the workout. Your workout is five rounds, 10 of each exercise, except jump ropes. So this is what your one round of your workout looks like. First, 10 kettlebell overhead tricep extensions. So you guys are gonna hold the kettlebell here through the handles, take it over your head, take it back and bring it up. Now, to isolate that muscle, don't forget to keep those arms close to your ears. So 10 of those. From there, you're gonna grab your weights, 10 bicep curls, keeping those arms close to the rib cage. Weights come down, stop it at a 45 degree angle. Now jumping rope, let me talk to you about that. Jumping rope, especially women, jumping, if you don't have any issues with your back or ankles, really, really good for us. It helps with bone density, and as we uh, get older, uh, we start to lose that. So jumping is good for us. So jumping rope, if you don't have a jump rope, you can just do this and pretend like you have one in your hands. But if you do have one, you are going to keep your feet close to the ground. My feet only come up about one inch. All of the action is happening in my wrist. All I'm doing is just pulling this jump rope around. Not much movement in my arms at all. After a hundred of those, heart rate goes up and you definitely know that your shoulders have been working. Tricep push-up next, 10 of those. Now listen, I am 57 years old, so I do these tricep push-ups on my knees, but you feel free to do them on your toes if you can do it. What I want you to remember though is, keep those arms close to the rib cage, hands are close together. 10 of those. 
And then the last, oh, excuse me, not the last. Kettlebell swings are next. 10 kettlebell swings. So let me talk to you about the kettlebell. I like the American kettlebell swing. So you're gonna take it down to a squat and bring it about shoulder height. You've got movement coming from the hips and your arms. Russian kettlebell swings come all the way up, but for me, I prefer the American. And then you pick up your jump rope and you do 100 jumps again. That was one round through. You go through that four more times and you'll be finished. So, great workout. I did it the other day. I can't remember. I think it took me somewhere between 30 and 40 minutes to do, but great stress reliever. And for me, at this stage in life, I'm not really doing workouts as much for the physical benefit as I am for the emotional and mental. And uh, I just am trying to work on being nice to people. So when I work out, it helps my mood and helps my temperament. So guys, can't wait to see you back in class again. Stay safe, hope to see you soon.